Yeah, I am Kersi Tawadia. I am the CIO of Bombay Stock Exchange. The biggest uh, challenge all the CIOs are facing is the knowledge of cyber security. There is too much uh, hype and mis uh, uh, I would say uh, a misnomer about the cyber security. So there is a while people want to do it, they don't know what to do. So uh, it's a it's a big yeah. dilemma for the CIOs while the uh, to it's the CIOs also having a lack of understanding yeah. of how the securities are working and because uh, the security industry and the cyber crime or the cyber frauds are happening faster than the business developments that are happening. So I think so we are always a step behind from the fraudsters. So it's it's a typical catch up game that we have to keep doing it. So that's the biggest challenge for the CIOs that how do we how the CISOs because now today CIOs are answerable to earlier the CIOs, CISOs were reporting to the CIOs. Now the industry is changing the CIOs are answerable to the CISOs. So that's a very big uh, paradigm shift which is happening and it's very difficult for the people to absorb them. I think that's one more mindset that people are facing that who's senior, the CIO or the CISO. Like, but that's a, it's, it's going to be a balanced uh, uh, approach that we need to use in the organization. So these are all organization dynamics and this is, I feel, while everybody is good in their own industry and doing uh, things, but cyber security is going to remain the underlying common threat factor across the industry and uh, the challenge is the skill and the knowledge of how to implement this because too many products are also available in the industry for doing this so again there is too much product but too little skill or too uh, that's also an issue the next couple of years is the industry for BIN AIML so now um, since there is a lot of lot of data that is getting churned out, a lot of data that is getting compiled and collected and across industries, across verticals, there is going to be a huge uh, demand for AI and ML and a lot of these robotic decisions will be taken. A lot of, uh, uh, and this is going to be a good thing that uh, it's a faster thinking uh, and a faster deployment of uh, decisions will happen through AI and ML. For example, uh, today it's already happening in this uh, finance industry, loan disbursement industries, credit card industries. In the finance in industry, it's already happening. But I think so going further, it will happen. It will be a good thing in the cyber preventions or in the case of manufacturing, or in the QA, quality control, in the medical research. These are the areas where AI and ML is going to play a very big role in the next couple of years. I think the so BFSI is going to be the leader as usual in the adoption of innovation and technology both. And the, the brightest and the largest uh, innovations have come in from the BFSI sector in the adoption of technologies and that's, uh, you can see it and India is leading the way in that uh, across the world. So it's not only for the country, I think India is leading a uh, player under the innovations which are happening in the financial industry. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.